This is what you need to know about leaving a narcissist first and gaining their respect. An utterly captivating question was laid out before me, one that indeed tickled the depths of my curiosity. Would a narcissist extend respect if you're the one to end things first? Before I dive into the nuances of this perplexing query, let me clue you in on a little spoiler. Expecting respect from a narcissist is a fool's errand. My explanation is encapsulated in the video to give it a watch. Ah, welcome back, my dear audience. I trust you're all in good spirits, yes? So, let's dive into today's meaty discussion. Could terminating the relationship before the narcissist does earn you a modicum of respect? Is a tad more context for you. Narcissists care about themselves and nothing more. But what does the video reveal? Gentlemen and gentlewomen, shall we shed light on this enigma? Bear this in mind. Narcissists harbor no respect for others and that, by default, includes you. Empathy for others. Ha! Consider it an alien concept to them. Genuine respect entails consideration for others and the acknowledgement of their autonomy and choices. And as we all recognize, this form of empathy and understanding has no place in a narcissist's psyche, making respect a non-issue. So, if you depart the toxic relationship precipitously, the narcissist will realize they've lost their grip and that you've unmasked their deception. They won't bear an ounce of remorse or guilt, mind you. Instead, humiliation will sear them, spurring the need to seek revenge on you for exposing their closely guarded secret. And that, my friends, is what you should be cautious about. What truly irks the narcissist is losing dominion over their former pawns. The control they once wielded, the capacity to manipulate a person for their gain, all snuffed out in an instant. It's crucial to understand the essence of your bond with them. A transactional, conditional dance of extracting value. Their ultimate goal, ever so self-serving. In essence, whether you preempt their dismissal or walk away unceremoniously, the narcissist will seethe with anger. Bluntly said, they loathe it when you assume control. Mending the relationship or trying to dissect their desires? Not a chance. They couldn't care less, nor would they ever ponder such matters. Your departure simply grates on their nerves, showcasing your ability to think for yourself and reach a solitary conclusion. The notion of respecting you? Forget about it. In a whirlwind of such situations, brace yourself for the onslaught of a smear campaign. They'll endeavor to tarnish your reputation, raise your dignity to the ground. By departing on your terms, you've snatched away their chance to belittle and demean you, an opportunity they sorely crave. Needless to say, such a defiance will rattle their cage. Brace for retaliation, as their ultimate goal is triumph. Dominance and mastery, that's their game. I may harp on the word control, but that, my friends, is the crux of our tale. They are poor when your autonomy takes center stage, when your decisions are shaped by your will, not their whims. Powerless to manipulate, they loathe this shift of control. Their fury seeks a target, and thus the smear campaign takes flight. They'll paint you as a villain, a despicable being worthy of disdain. You are nothing, and the more people see that, so they believe, the more victorious they shall be. Witnessing your depreciation fuels their satisfaction, and the complicity of others only inflates their self-importance. Narcissists are intricate creatures who yearn for reciprocation, desirous of favors you might not be able or eager to grant. Such impasses could trigger their wrath. Threaten to take away their beloved hold, and their response curdles into antagonism. Their warped minds perceive it as an assault reflexively urging them to strike back. Picture this, you're snatching a cherished toy from a child or a pet. The narcissist will react much like these hapless beings, confused and grasping at straws to reclaim what they believe is rightfully theirs. If patience or delayed gratification is a lesson, a young child or an animal might eventually accept their fate, if begrudgingly. Alas, your narcissist, oh the irony, lacks the wisdom to learn such a lesson. When the lifeblood of the narcissist is taken away, therein lies the heart of their peril. By stripping them of their cherished sustenance, you ignite their fury. Akin to denying a desperate being their deepest desire, be prepared for their wrathful response. 
Such is my understanding, at very least. Brace for resistance, whether it manifests as subtle defiance or a passive-aggressive storm. Fafum, the implications, understanding that this individual harbors no respect for you. Their thought pattern doesn't involve introspection or accountability. Their lifeline, their very foundation of control, is jeopardized by your defiance. Pursuing control, that's their goal, their raison d'etre. Should their precious source become imperiled or confiscated, expect retaliation aplenty. You might query, why not just find another fool to cater to their whims? Alas, it's not that straightforward, dear reader. Comfort and familiarity are not always simple to replicate. Losing such a dynamic cannot be taken lightly. To replace you necessitates reliance on another to fill the void you've left behind. The transition may be fraught with uncertainty, adaptation, trial and error. Will their new acquisition serve as protagonist or merely a supporting character in their twisted tale? The narcissist must piece this puzzle together. It's not a matter of easily selecting a primary person for their doting attention. The journey to find a worthy heir demands considerable effort, time and focus. When a key player asserts their intent to leave, it may not be entirely genuine. Fear underpins their actions and convenience precludes their departure. Having you remain instills a sense of certainty in their chaotic existence. For them, the logic is sound, the conclusion clear. And so, with vitriol and venom, they try to destroy you to preserve their own twisted world order. Unbeknownst to them, they cling to you even more tightly than you do to them. And therein lies the punchline of this cruel and perplexing game. In the labyrinthine depths of their mind, they yearn to retain you but grasp the futility of the attempt. They recognize your resilience and strength, contrary to the illusion they've spun. It feels as if the world is being turned on its head. These relationships, these complex entanglements with such individuals, are centered on instilling a sense of inferiority within you. They encircle you like shadows, ever ready to undermine and siphon your vital spark. They anticipate that you will satiate their every whim. Dear friends, let me proclaim that this is not the way life unfolds. They will balk at your defiance, perhaps even considering a futile struggle on your behalf. In most situations, though, they will unleash the whirlwind of a smear campaign, venting their fury at your unyielding stance. Within their twisted vision, there is no room for respect or acceptance of your choices, nor do they offer self-respect or esteem for others. Kindly be aware that I stand ready to offer guidance and support as a consultant. For those among you entangled in similar webs and in need of assistance, knowledge, or simply a compassionate ear, reach out and find solace. More information awaits in the box provided below. You are a remarkable assembly and grateful for your dedicated viewership. May we all revel in the day and the wisdom it bestows.